Hey, I'm Stephen here from Tiny House Listings, and today we're going to talk about incinerating toilets, so stay tuned. Alright, so this is an incinerating toilet by a company called Incinolet, and I know these have been covered quite a bit within the Tiny House community in the past. I don't know if there's any, been any comprehensive videos. I'll try to make this comprehensive, but to be honest, I don't know everything about this thing, but it's pretty self-explanatory, so I think this should uh, suffice. But uh, yeah, this is an incinerating toilet, and the whole idea behind it is that uh, it's electric. And it uses lots and lots and lots of heat to uh, turn your solids and your liquid waste into ash. So as you can see, it's electric. And uh, the idea behind that is that you use these bags that come with it. And they look like they're um, made out of wax paper. And uh, I looked these up online. They're not exactly cheap if you're using them all the time. But if you buy them in bulk, they're a little bit cheaper. But like I said, they're made out of wax paper. So I would think you could probably buy a big roll of these from Costco. And Maybe make some yourself, I'm not sure, but the bag fits down in there. It's the shape of the inside of the toilet pretty well. And so what happens is as you pour your liquids or solids in there, for me, I'll pour this water in there to represent waste. And what happens is when there's a lever right here on the side that you put your foot on and you press that down, and when you do, gravity pulls it down. So when you're done you press this button right here. You can hear it turn on. So this right here runs for what I've seen for about 15 minutes and the toilet itself is vented. As you can see right here it comes right out the back. You can hear the air coming out so if there's any smell it would be it would it would be vented out here outside. But from what I've seen so far, there's very, very little smell if next to none, except for a slight smoky smell. Then down below, there is a little pan right here you can see and it pulls out. And that is literally just ash. And you take that ash and you throw it into a bag or whatnot, then you put it in the trash just like you would anything else. It's completely germ free. So instead of purchasing these things right here, uh, you could buy a huge roll of wax paper and roll out like you know 18 inches or whatever it is cut it roll out cut it do a hundred of them and then have like a little setup like that and just slide them all in there and just pull one out at a time as opposed to having to buy these things which are probably work better but i don't i'm you know i'm sure you could figure something out yourself that's what i'm getting at <laughs> yeah so this toilet solution is good if you have land like cheap land in the middle of nowhere that doesn't perk uh, you won't need a septic system or if you're in a situation where a septic system is not an option this is really really good because uh, you just you know you take the dust or the ash that's left over and put it in the trash or spread it out across the land whatever yeah so of all the toilets I've used so far composting nature's head uh, the kind that you spin the contents around which is pretty gross and this one I think this would be my preference for full-time tiny house living because of the cleanliness and the ease of use and uh, the only issue is the initial cost and the uh, fact that it needs lots of power to use. So if you're off grid, it's pretty prohibitive. But overall, I'd say this one is my preference so far in a situation where you don't have a septic tank. All right, so that's the whole idea behind the incinerating toilet. It turns your waste and literally turns it into dust, into ash. I pulled this tray out and it's just like, looks like something you see from a fire pit the next day where you burn, uh, you know, wood or whatnot. It's just, it's just dust. Um, it's a really cool idea. If you're off-grid, this thing seems to, I don't know exactly how many watts it uses, how much power it uses. If you have one, please uh, say in the comments below. But it seems to use a lot of power, so if you're off-grid, it might be prohibitive. Unless you have a really big battery bank. Uh, if, you're, if you're not off-grid, you know, if you're on-grid, uh, this seems like a really good solution because it's, um, it's pretty practical in terms of like no smell. Just press a button and it gets to work. Um, one issue is the upfront cost. I think these run like $1,800, which is expensive. And I don't know the longevity of them, but if they last a long time, I could see where it'd be a, a good idea as opposed to having to do compost and, uh, you know, mess with, fooling around with all that stuff. But some people like that. Um, overall, it is a very, very good solution for a tiny house. So thanks for watching. See you on the next video.